Hey everybody, Shovel here, back from the video, and today I'll be showing you how to make a super jump ability in Roblox. So first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have Explorer and Properties open. So if you don't, you want to go to View, and then you want to go to the left of View, and you should see Explorer and Properties. Now, you want to go to Starter Player, you want to click that arrow. Now, you want to right click Starter Character Scripts, Insert Object, and then click Local Script. Now, we're going to right click it again, Insert Object, a normal script. And then you right click it again, insert object, and then you insert a remote event. Now we're going to give all these names. So I'm just going to name this one I don't know, server. I'll rename this one client. And then you can rename this whatever you want. Now we're going to start scripting it. So you should be inside the server side. Should be in the server one. You want to delete this because we don't need that. Now we're going to start making our variables. So first we're going to make one for the character because we're going to be using that the most. Local character equals script dot parent. Go to the script to the character. Now we're going to get the root part. So local root equals character. Wait for child humanoid root part. So it'll wait for the root part because we're going to be using that to make the jump ability. And then we're going to get the ability. So local ability equals character wait for child ability. Now we're going to make a variable for the cooldown. So I'm just going to call it debounce. So we'll make another one local debounce equals true. So that's going to be the ability cooldown so you can't spam it. Now, we're going to do ability the on server event connect function player like that. This is whenever the client sends an event to the server saying that this person wants to do the ability, the server will know and run whatever in here whatever is in here. First, we're going to check if the cooldown is true or not. So if debounce, then debounce equals false. So that will set the cooldown and make sure if the cooldown is false, you cannot do it. So now, we're going to start writing the code here. So local vil means velocity. It's instance.new instance body velocity. Now, I'm going to go another line. Put the vil inside the root so it can move the character. Now we're going to set the velocity equals vector3.new and then whatever number you want. So I'm going to put that. I'm going to set the force so you can move while you're using it. You can set this number as high as you want. Now we're going to make the velocity destroy after a while. So we're going to do game.debris add item velocity and then I'm going to put it 0 0.5. Let's have a second. Now, I'm going to add the cooldown. So put wait, and then put whatever number here. I'm just going to put 5. Now, you're going to want to put debounce true. So now, you can use the ability again after it's done waiting. Now, we're going to go to the client. I'm going to start scripting that. I'm just going to copy this. Right click, copy, or control C. Now we're going to go to the client. It should be up here. If it's not, you have to double click this. I'm going to delete this. Right click here and put paste or control V. Now we're going to do local user input service equals game get service user input service. So we'll be using this to detect whenever the user presses E. Now 
We're gonna do user input dot input began connect function and then input and GUR. So first we're gonna check if they're like chatting or something because we don't want them to use their ability randomly when they're talking. So if not GUI, then now we're gonna see what key they pressed and if it's even a key or a mouse thing. If input that user input type equals equals enum dot use it user input type that keyboard then if input dot key code equals equals enum dot key code dot whatever key you want so I'm gonna put E then you press then now you put ability fire server and that's about it you're done making the ability it should look exactly like this or whatever ability you want right here now if we click play now if we go over here we can't make it up there by jumping but if we press E to use the ability we can jump higher you can't spam it it only works after a little bit so now we can get the trophy and now we're done make sure to slap that like button and punch that subscribe button peace